Welcome. Here at Emory, our physician teams are at the forefront of medical knowledge and research. In fact, every day they are pioneering new procedures that are changing the face of medical history. Parkinson's disease is just one of the ways that Emory is leading the way in innovation and treatment. Did you know that Parkinson's disease affects more than one million people in the United States alone? That's right, it's one of the most debilitating diseases out there and one person in 200 will get it over their lifetime. The risk does increase with age and it does appear to be more common in men than in women. The Emory Neuroscience Center is where we offer a unique approach to Parkinson's diagnosis, treatment and care. The following short presentation is designed to give you news you can use about Parkinson's and all of its leading forms of treatment. Dr. Robert Gross. Parkinson's disease is a disorder created by degeneration of certain neurons or, or nerve cells in the brain that provide a neurotransmitter called dopamine. This is an area of the brain that doesn't cause movement but is basically a servo assist mechanism in the brain. Uh, I view it like a car. Um, you can drive a car with um, manual steering, without power steering, and we all drive that car very easily, but it takes a little bit more work. The system in the brain that degenerates in Parkinson's disease is one that is like the power steering. It makes driving much, much easier. But what happens when the power steering goes out in the car? You can't turn the wheel at all. So what we do when we treat that, uh, that um, disease surgically is we fix the, we actually eliminate the power steering system. So you get back to a manual sort of steering car. You're not perfect, but you're better off than you are with a broken power steering system. Parkinson's disease is typically treated with medical therapy. All patients with Parkinson's disease are treated with medicines. And that was the standard of care until sometime in the 1990s when we began to appreciate the limitations of medical treatment. In the 1990s, we learned about a new technique called deep brain stimulation. In deep brain stimulation, we bring a patient into the operating room and we um, open a very small opening in the skull, in the cranium. And the patient is awake during the entire procedure to help us to map out the area of the brain that we're aiming for. In Parkinson's disease, this area is called the subthalamic nucleus or the globus pallidus. We map this out region out by putting in small wires into the brain and we listen to the functioning of the brain cells, the firing of the brain cells as the patient moves normally. And we can therefore find the sensory motor or the, uh, the action area of the brain. And once we do that, it takes about an hour and a half to do, that, to do that, we implant this wire electrode into the brain. We then connect it up to a stimulating device and we turn it on and we can watch the symptoms of Parkinson's disease or tremor or other types of problems melt away before us in the operating room and the patient has a, can see for themselves the, uh, the effects right there on the operating room table which sometimes leads to uh, a tear in their eyes. I'm Jack Alexander, live in North Georgia mountains, I love it. Well. I developed Parkinson's disease about 14 years ago and luckily my doctor sent me to the best doctor in the world I guess. We've been coming here for 14 years and we've never been disappointed. They've always helped um, the, the neurology department and the neurosurgeons are, as I said, just the nicest kind of people and they really care about their patients and we have excellent communication. They, I've had lots of times when Jack would be really off his meds before the surgery and it, it was almost a, it was a real emergency and every time a doctor called me back right away and and I he'd talk about his meds and things and it, they've been a lifesaver to me as well as Jack because I have to help him with his meds and things like that. When they finally got the mapping done then they started inserting the probe and then he said now we're going to turn it on and uh, my arm went from like this to solid. Everybody that knows him, everybody that's been around us said, you know, he looks 20 years younger, he's happy, he can do things. Now it's much more pleasant for everybody around him, and they know it, they say so, that Jack's back. Emory is a leading center in uh, the vanguard of deep brain stimulation. Uh, we led the way for deep brain stimulation in Parkinson's disease and tremor, and now we're leading the way into other areas like epilepsy, Tourette's syndrome, psychiatric disorders such as depression. Um, 
Deep brain stimulation is very new on our landscape. It's only been a decade since it even uh, was discovered, essentially. Um, but every year we see new and new advancements. Well, as you just found out, Emory Healthcare offers a unique approach to care for Parkinson's disease and other related neurological disorders. Call 404-778-7777 or visit our website, www.emoryhealthcare.org, to find out more about the Emory Neurosciences Center. Emory advancing the possibilities for you.